Okay. I had trouble setting up my tripod, so this is going to be an even angrier rant than it was supposed to be. And I'm an Islander fan, so I'm already angry. All right? Dear Matt Barzal, that's the title of this video, because this guy is the only major holdout during this pandemic. So, global pandemic, right? Everything shuts down. It's weird times. It's weird times, right? But this guy right here, okay, Matt Barzal, he doesn't, he doesn't re-sign. He doesn't re-sign with the Islanders before training camp. So training camp is starting. After a lot of months off, he's played 25 games in the last year. And this guy is supposed to now just come into the regular season and be fine? Dude, you had from October 9th to now to figure out whether you wanted to be here or not. I don't know what's going on, but you got to get your shit together, buddy. Because this is ridiculous at this point, dude. Even Dubois, who he doesn't even know if he wants to stay in Columbus. But he signed before trading camp so that he could get into training camp. You're sitting at home right now on the couch with some Cheetos while the rest of your team is skating right now. It's 11 a.m. as I'm recording this. They've probably been at the rink for a couple hours now. Probably started like 9 a.m., I'd like, I'd like to assume. So what are you doing, buddy? Get off the couch, walk into a room with Lou Lamorello, and take what he offers you. If it's a, a bridge contract, that's fine. If you don't like how much he's giving you, say I'll do it for two years. Just do... Just get a deal done, dude. You want to be here. We want you here. So get a deal done. I don't know what else to say. Like, you're the only holdout, bro. Pierre-Luc Dubois, the number one center for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yes, I'm going to keep coming back to this because he just recently got signed. He was holding out too. Pierre-Luc Dubois signs two years, $5 million. By the time that contract's up, it's going to be one of the biggest steals in the NHL. But it was only for two years. So he can get out of it, still being an RFA, and make his money. Do the same thing. Nobody's saying five million. You want to do seven million? Do seven million. I don't care what you do, dude. Just don't make it crazy, okay? And get a deal done. So that you can get on the ice with your buddies and with your teammates. I get, oh, everybody's still confident he's going to make a deal. That's great. He's missing time in training camp where he could be skating, dude. One of the best skaters in the NHL. If he's, if he's rusty the first five to ten games, he's not going to be the fastest skater in the NHL. Or even close to it. Because he hasn't been skating. Get his butt on the ice. And I don't know if it's just Barzal sitting here, mm, I'm not signing, $1 million difference. No, I don't know that. I don't think it's that. Uh, but if it is, fuck off. Stop. You're being crazy, dude. I saw reports, I think it was yesterday, that he wanted $10 million. Dude, you're not getting $10 million right now, dude. There's no way you're getting $10 million. The Islanders don't even have $10 million. They didn't even have $10 million before they signed Green and Martin. You're not getting $10 million. If he walks out of this deal, if it's a bridge deal, I'm okay with eight. I mean, if it's a normal deal, like a six or seven year deal, I'm okay with eight. But if he walks out with more than seven and a half as a bridge deal, I am going to be pissed because that is bullshit. Right now, Barzal is a $6 million player. By the end of the two-year contract, he might be a $9 million player. Sign at $7 million, okay? You'll get your deal, you'll get your money, and then when you're 25, you cash in like Pierre-Luc Dubois is. You cash in when you can. You can't right now. Get over it. And Lula Morello, dude. If you're the reason this isn't going through, if you're holding out over a no movement clause, bro, you're not gonna move him anyway. If you're not if you're not holding him over a modified no trade clause, dude, you're not gonna trade him anyway. If you're insisting on a no movement clause and he's saying no, 
I don't know why that would happen, actually. That sounded a lot better in my own head. But you know what I'm saying. Don't be a dipshit. You know what you gotta do to get this deal done, so just do it! You've been talking with him since October 9th, dude. Since before the playoffs, you've been talking to him on and off. How hard is it? How Really, really think. How hard is it right now, dude? For you to put the money down and just go. Just be done! It's not that hard. We're not talking a long-term deal here if Barzal doesn't want it right now. If Barzal wants to cash in, good for him! He's a good player. Let him cash in in two years. Right now, Barzal, take the six mil and run. Please, take the seven mil and run. Find a happy medium and get on the ice. Get your little ass up off the couch with your Cheetos. Sign a contract and get out on the ice. Right now. My Islander fans. We love you. Fucking hell. Get signed.